Hey, what's up? Yeah, Dangerous Voice of People's Choice, live and direct from New York City. And we're going to be talking about some mobile stuff. Ubisoft is bringing the division to phones. How? Let's talk about it. So, as reported by Polygon.com, Ubisoft is bringing the division to, mo to phones. Mobile Tom Clancy game is still in early development. So it says here, Ubisoft is bringing the division to mobile devices as a part of its ongoing multimedia expansion of the Tom Clancy franchise. Alan Core, executive director of Ubisoft, announced a mobile spin on the division as a part of a large update in the franchise, but offered very way little detail. Um, but based on a timeline of new products and content coming for the division, the mobile version is ways off. Um, Ubisoft's Red, Red, Red Storm and Master Team will still deliver a free-to-play game, The Division Heartland, and additional content for Division 2, respectively. Basically, they, they're making a Division 2 or, or a Division game for mobile phones. More than likely, it's going to be in the same style as the Division games on console, or maybe they already have right now. They have a um, kind of like a, a tactical RPG for the Division right now on mobile, but... They're gonna be making like a whole like division type game, like like a division two type game on mobile. That's what they're trying to do now. So of course it says it goes further in the article to say Ubisoft is no strangers to mobile games. Of course, the publisher has released mobile spinoffs based on Assassin's Creed, Ravage, Just Dance, and Trials. The publisher took the Tom Clancy brand mobile with Tom Clancy's Elite Elite Squad. See, that's the tactical RPG I was talking about, Elite Squad. A crossover title that features heroes from Rainbow Six, Ghost Recon, The Division, Splinter Cell, and the Hulk franchises. Um, Ubisoft is more likely to share its plan for The Division at E3 2021. And so they, they were probably just waiting for that to announce something. And the, you, their portion of the show is going to be called Ubisoft Forward. So what I've been saying to people all along is like, yo, um, mobile games are the future. People keep saying like, yeah, mobile games of the future so so I'm like people are like yeah mobile games because so when I say that people treat it as if I'm saying mobile games is gonna take over and oh it's a wrap for console and PC I'm like no that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying is mobile games of the future meaning that they're gonna be like another platform so we're gonna say okay you know there's PS5 this Xbox this PC and then it's gonna be mobile so it's just gonna be another thing like that but right now mobile is kind of like in its own space, in its own world, we kind of consider it, we kind of push it off as like part of the handheld world, as far as like the handheld console, like a, like a Nintendo DS or a PSP, we kind of think of it in that term, but like no, it's actually going to be like competing with like consoles and PC, like nothing really can compete with PC, because PC is like the most powerful system, depending on how you build your rig that you can get, excuse me, but what I'm saying is it's going to be considered in league with, with those things. As far as the PlayStation, the X, as far as console and PC, it's going to be considered in league with those things, like, a, like another thing to develop for. So, like, where I see this going, like, inside of five years is every game that comes out in the future is going to have a mobile version of it. So, like, say, for instance, a Call of Duty comes out, it's going to be a Call of Duty mobile. Well, there is a Call of Duty mobile, but... Like, whatever game that comes out or gets announced is going to be like, hey, is there a mobile version of it? Because, like, it's that it's going to, it's they're going to have to make a mobile version. And so, like, a game like, say, for instance, Assassin's Creed, which is multi plat like, it's on PC, it's on Xbox, it's on PlayStation, they're going to have to make a mobile version of it as well. A version that could, that could play on mobile. Like, that's where I feel like everything is going to be going rather than, you know, mobile being pushed off to the side of his own thing. Nah, it's gonna come to the forefront, is how I feel. That's why I tell people all the time, hey, you know, start looking at some mobile games, people that are content creators, start looking at some mobile games that you feel like you will wanna play or some old games that you're interested in because you're gonna have to rotate that in with your content because that's gonna be the biggest place where growth is happening. And I keep telling people, like, yo, they're making mobile versions of every game. So, um, for instance, there's already a Call of Duty mobile. It's already a pub it's already a PUBG mobile. There's a League of Legends mobile now called League of Legends Wild Rift, and then there was a popular knockoff called Mobile Legends. Um there is also knockoffs of PUBG called Free Fire. Like that's a popular game. There's Arena of Valor, which is like in that same Dota League of Legends 
thing that's like Arena of Valor. It's a popular mobile game as well. Um, what's another game that people play? Um, mobile games, mobile games, mobile games. Can't think of can't think of them right now. But like Apex Legends announced their mobile game. Diablo um, Immortal is officially announced. It's almost shit. It's about to be out. Like they they're saying they're saying the beginning of next year is going to be out. Diablo Immortal is going to be out um, either. End of the end of this year or next year. That's a mobile version of Diablo. Um, Battlefield just announced. Hey, they're making a mobile version of Battlefield, and now the division is going to get its own mobile version. Like it's going to be mobile versions of each and every game that comes out. I'm telling people like, yo, try to find out what mobile game that you like. If you're a content creator, you're going to continue to be a content creator because they're coming. It's coming, and the whole thing is. People say, I don't even play mobile games, or like, I'm not playing mobile games, I'm just like, think about it, it's like, how many people have a console? How many people have a PC? Like a powerful PC to play games on? Not not a lot, really, not a lot. But, damn it, everybody got a cell phone. Now, everybody doesn't have, play mobile games, or games on their phone. But, damn it, everybody has a cell phone. Some people have multiple cell phones. I have three or four, myself, personally. So what I'm saying is, that that market or that market is bigger and there's more people to try to acquire as customers because everybody has a smartphone that could probably play some type of mobile game on it. That's what I'm saying. And you know, it's a lower there's a lower barrier of entry. Even people that maybe not might not have much will scrape together money for a smartphone because they see it as a necessity to communicate with their family members and of course their place of business so even people that really are without will have a will have a will have a smartphone of some kind because they used to communicate with other people in their life whether it be family friends or um some something business related or job related they need that phone to communicate with those people in those spaces so they'll have cell phones and you know there's some people that will play mobile games. So that's what I'm saying is, they're coming. Mobile games are coming. Do not ignore it. If you're a content creator, do not ignore this. So let me know what you think of this story. Um, what we saw bringing these division to phones and the mobile gaming market. What are your thoughts? What do you think mobile gaming is going? What do you think gaming is going as a whole? Please let me know in the comments below. If you've reached this part, this is the end. This is Dangerous Voice, the People's Choice, live and direct from New York City. Thank you for watching the video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. Subscribe to the channel down below. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to keep up with me on social media, on my social media, it's in the description below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, it is in the description below. Thank you for watching the video. I'm out. Peace.